brightest blessings everyone I'm actually doing a video I promised to another uh, user on YouTube by the name of novice Wiccan um, I don't think he's been on here very long and he kinda seems like a cool kid so I decided that I was gonna answer his questions um, he had some questions regarding ethics in the pagan community I mean, he said that he was aware of the threefold law and all that stuff, which means I'm sure that he's aware of also the um, the Wiccan read. But you know, your question was was a little bit broader than that, um, because there are a lot more pagans than just Wiccans, um, and so therefore everybody's ethics are just a little bit different. Uh, shoot, even if you want to go for argument's sake and say we're speaking of Wiccans and Wiccans only, uh, what branch of Wicca are you speaking of? Again, there are different rules and regulations uh, and different uh, paths and all that stuff. Um, shoot, even if you want to narrow it down even further and go eclectic Wiccan, such as myself, uh, Again, eclectic Wiccan means you take from different paths, so, wow, uh, I, I can't really, I can't really say exactly, I mean, it all depends on the person, really, uh, it depends on what form of paganism they practice, uh, if they practice Wicca, what branch of Wicca they practice, if they're even eclectic Wiccans, if they, uh, you know, wh where exactly are they picking from? Um, so I guess it would all depend on the person and their practice in general. Um, you were so talking about, um, you know, people saying that they're white witches and that they're of love and light and all that stuff, but they still practice as, uh, curses and bindings. Um, in all reality, I don't like the term white, white witch. I can't say it! Sorry, it's been a busy morning, and I still have to go to school. <laughs> uh, I do not like the term white and black magic, white and black witch, uh, dark and light magic, uh, because it's really all in the intent, really. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what a white witch would curse other than um, cursing a, I don't know, a, an ailment or an illness. But even at that, if you call yourself a white Wiccan, if you're so, if you're fluffy enough to call yourself a white Wiccan, um, wouldn't there be other ways to get around that illness or ailment than cursing the illness or ailment? Uh, I myself uh, believe, yes, there must be a balance. And in that, I don't mean, okay, I did so many good things this week, so... I'm going to be a real bitch next week. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, you must maintain balance. I tend to be a little bit darker of a person, and so I really strive towards being more uh, of love and light as much as humanly possible, simply to maintain that balance. Um, let's see here. Okay, here's an example. I am... I do follow the Wiccan Read. Okay, actually more of a Lycian version of the Wiccan Read. You don't have to follow a Wiccan Read to be uh, a good little Wiccan. <laughs> so, um... But I choose to follow it. Now, here's an example. Um, something has come up, and I was actually planning on banishing something, someone, excuse me. Uh, my problem with doing, normally I would not have a problem doing with that, uh, but uh, I, I kind of am having a problem right now, and it's basically my own damn fault. Um, this person angers me so much, he brings up literal hatred, and um, nobody knows about this person here on YouTube. Uh, so I feel quite safe in saying this. However, um, especially due to my rather large dark side, 
Um, one of my personal general rules is uh, never, you can work with anger, never work with hatred in your heart. Um, and that's just me personally. And I think it's a general great rule of thumb. Uh, the problem is, is that I let the problem go on far too long before I took action and I just can't seem to work that magic without that hatred slipping into my heart. Um, and it's just a matter of, uh, really, do I want to go down that path? Uh, it, it's not really a matter of, yes, I can, no, I can't, I'm allowed, I'm not allowed. Uh, it's just something that I personally have in my, in my heart and my beliefs. Uh, can I? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, it's just my own personal ethics. Would somebody else with the same beliefs as me even have the same ethics? Possibly not. You know, I, I, I actually spoke to someone for a little bit of help in possibly doing it for me, just simply because uh, this person is, is more neutral. And um, <laughs> he sees no, no problem with me doing uh, a, a banishing or even a curse. And, um, well, more of a curse anyway. <laughs> um, and it's just a matter of whether I want to reflect and, and really go down that road or not. Um, but then again, remember, this, this whole thing was my fault anyway. I should have taken care of it sooner. Um, <clears throat> so I guess you'd actually have to ask more people in general. Wiccans. Uh, of all branches of Wicca, including being an eclectic, uh, and also other pagans. I mean, a druid will probably answer this question far differently than a Wiccan would of any branch. Um, same thing with a Satanist. Um, I suggest you try to contact someone from different branches of paganism personally, really. I can only speak for myself and myself alone. Um, I am an eclectic Wiccan. Uh, I do believe that you need balance. Um, don't sit there, and what I mean by balance is, don't sit there and be afraid of your dark side. Don't sit there and be afraid of anything that's part of you. Embrace it, otherwise it will engulf you when you least expect it something really is that horrible that you need to hide from it that badly, then maybe you need to change it. There's certain parts of us, all of us, that is dark, uh, some more naturally than others. Uh, it is human nature. It, it is part of the human condition. Know it. Love it. And embrace it. You know, you don't need to be afraid of it. I think that's what they mean by balance. hope this answered your question, blessed be.